In this video, I'll show you how to connect make.com to Facebook for automatic posting, including images and videos. I have a very simple Airtable base set up here where I just have the post text that I want to use, the post type. So we have text posts, photos, and videos. We're storing the images and the videos on Airtable as well. And whenever we want to post to Facebook, we change the status to ready for posting. Let's get started with the first one. By the way, we've got some really good social media automations within our community. So if you're interested in that, then check out the link in the description. I have a new make.com scenario here. I added in the search records module for Airtable. So I've selected my base table and I've put in the formula here, which is status equals ready for posting. So it will only return ones that are ready for posting. And I've put a limit of one so that we're only working with one at a time. So next up, we add another module and then type in Facebook and then create a post. If this is your first time connecting, then you need to add in a connection name, add in anything and press save. Then a pop-up will show up where you'll have to authenticate. You can click edit access to lock down the particular pages you want to give make access to. I'm pressing continue. Okay, so it looks like it worked. I've selected the page I want to post to. And for message, I'm just going to select the post text, which is the first column here, and then press OK. So we'll start with that. Press run once. Okay, it looks like it created the post. Okay, so that worked. This is a test post. It shows that it's published by Make, but that's only visible to people that manage the page. Now I'm going to delete that. So next up, we want to be able to differentiate between the different types of posts. So I'm going to add in a router here. I'm going to select auto align to clean things up a bit. And I'm going to, whoops. I'll press shift and drag and I'll add in a filter here. So the condition of post type equals text post. So we only want this flow to proceed when this is equal test post. Next, we'll set up a filter where the post type is equal to photo. We'll go to Facebook pages and upload a photo. Okay, so I've selected the page that I want. When we're uploading a photo, it cannot automatically download that from the URL. We need to do that within Make. So I'm going to add in a new module, which is the HTTP module and get a file. Then I'm gonna add the URL. So go to image and URL. Then it should map. There we go. It will automatically map to the upload photo. So if that does not show up, then just X out of that and then go back into it. All right, so we're getting the file. That's what Make is doing. Then this is automatically gonna map the file. Then for message, we can just select the post text and you can select album if you want and press okay. Now I'll press save. I'll go back here and select ready for publishing and select run once. Now, interestingly, nothing has happened, but that's because I put in the wrong variable there. Post type, we'll try that again, run once. Okay, we got the file. And now it is uploading a photo and that looks like it worked. So we refresh the page on Facebook and there you go. I'll now delete that. When doing that, we also forgot to update the initial record on Airtable. I will do that. I've literally just cloned this module and connected it to this flow here. So that next time it runs, it will mark it as published. I've just manually done it now. Upload a video. Okay, so there are two methods that we can upload a video via this module here. So we can upload the video by actually grabbing the data similar to how we did it for HTTP here, or else you can download a video from a URL. Now the downloading a video from a URL is a much better option because then data is not passing through make.com and you are not using your data usage. I'm going to select the URL from the video. So that's the public URL for that video. For post type, I'll select video. So it will only pass to that route when this is equal to video here. And when that's done, I want it to update the Airtable status. Okay, let's go for that. Let's run once and it's currently uploading that video. Okay, so it took a few seconds for that to show up on Facebook, but now that is uploaded and I'll now move that to bin. Make sure to check out the AI Automators community run by my brother Daniel and I. We've got loads of automation blueprints that you can implement right away in your business. It's an active community where you can get all your questions answered either through our online discussions or via our weekly calls. Check out the link in the description if you want access. Thanks for watching.